Welcome to the Unique Mums Podcast. My name is Anna and I'm a wife, mum, author, blogger and Jesus follower. Bringing you biblical truth, devotions and encouragement so you can find joy, purpose and hope as you navigate through motherhood. One cold cup of coffee at a time. You can find the episode show notes, a free devotional and a lot more information at uniquemums.co.uk. Hello, so today is the first episode in Redeeming Time, my new devotional series. So this devotional series is about how as mums we can redeem the time that God gives us. And today I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on our time as mums and how God wants to use us even in the sense of um, being mums and sometimes it feeling like it's not a very glamorous job or sometimes it feels like it's a job that's hard to do because we don't always get recognized for it and so today I'm going to be talking a little bit about that and yes I hope you'll join me. Okay so today's focus verse is I glorified you on earth, having accomplished the work that you gave me to do. John chapter 17 verse 4. So God has given us mum's work for us to do. So taking care of our children while they're under our responsibility, providing for them, loving them, instructing them in righteousness and leading them to Jesus. Now, Jesus' mission on earth was perhaps a little bit different from ours because he didn't have children like we have. Well, he didn't have children under his direct responsibility. But one thing that we can learn from Jesus' life is that he accomplished the work that his father had given him to do. Now, I don't know what other work or responsibilities you have, But I do know that if you're a mum with children, uh, young children who are under 18 or children that live at home with you, the work of raising them is part of the work that God has given you to do. And so it might not sound like a glamorous job, it might not sound sophisticated or even intellectually stimulating, especially when you have very little children, babies. Uh, Nevertheless, it's a work that I believe gives us purpose and real joy because just knowing that it's God's will already gives us the purpose to know that it's something he wills for us to do. And real joy is all because, yeah, you see the fruit of your labor, even if it takes a long time to see that. But when we raise children according to God's word, uh, I, I believe we do end up seeing the fruit of our labor. We end up seeing that our children do learn about God. They do learn about his word. And yes, and the more that we submit to God and trust in him to help us to share the gospel with our children, to share the truth from the Bible, that he will speak to them through it. And when we spend time with our kids and we play with them, we instruct them in God's word and we explain the gospel, Um, Yes, we feel a sense of accomplishment and peace knowing that we're doing what God wills us to do. And this happens with me when I do these things, when I spend time with my kids, when I uh, share the word with them. I really feel like a sense of, yes, of doing what I'm called to do and that gives me a deep joy that like the, the temporary things, the temporary pleasures that the world offers me don't give me that same joy. So in pursuing my children's eternal well-being, I know that it's better than any short-term pleasure that the world wants to offer me. Like uh, you'll often see in social media, for instance, that mums need to take care of themselves, they need to have a weekend away with their friends, they need to do this, they need to do that, they need to buy this product, they need to follow this career. And there isn't always anything necessarily wrong with those things in themselves, but the purpose to what to which God calls us is actually to raise our children and to instruct them in righteousness and to share with them the gospel. That's the core, the essence of what we need to do. Okay, so I'm just going to ask the two questions for you to reflect on. And the first is, how do you feel when you reflect on God's purposes for you as a mother? And how can you reject the lies of the world regarding the pursuit of pleasure instead of the pursuit of eternal gain? So by that I mean, 
how can you really reflect on what God wants you to do as a mum instead of that which the world tells you that you need to do as a mum. Okay, so now I'm going to pray. Lord God, I really pray that you would help us to really focus on what you want us to do as mums, as Christian mums. Help us to focus on teaching our children the gospel, teaching them righteousness, teaching them the word, teaching them about you, how to have a relationship with you and help us to reject the lies of the world about what we need to do to to love ourselves, to take care of ourselves instead of focusing on our children and how we can love them. And help us, Lord, to really focus on the eternal gain for our children instead of short-term pleasures. And yes, Lord, I just pray that you would give us wisdom and joy and purpose through all of this. Amen. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope this devotion blessed you today and I'll be coming back next week with one more devotion about how we can redeem our time and see our time the way that God sees it.